The fourth annual Tsietsi Mashinini lecture took place today in Soweto. Mashinini was one of the young people who took to the streets in 1976. Speaking at the event, Vice Chancellor of the University of Johannesburg, Professor Chilidzi Mahwala, told delegates that Africa needs to transform the landscape of its industrial base to tackle challenges on the continent. He called on young people to spearhead this revolution. In the spirit of Tieti Machinini, now it is the time to master the art of scientifically organizing our society to increase economic production as well as social cohesion and unite our people. During the second industrial revolution, a group of people who called themselves the practical men, it can only be men, tried to stop the second industrial revolution, but they too failed and the second industrial revolution marched on. The third industrial revolution came about because of the invention of semiconductors in the 1950s. These are devices that conduct electricity under certain conditions. These devices gave us a transistor and ushered an electronic age. All your phones are able to do what they do because of transistors. And I can see many of them, many of you carrying uh, these phones and taking my picture. <laughs> However, to this day, in Africa, we do not have a single homegrown computer company, nor a cell phone company, nor a domestic automobile company. In the spirit of Tieti Machinini, now it is the time to transform the landscape of our, our industrial base to tackle the problems of poverty, unemployment, and inequality. To paraphrase, the Chancellor of the University of Johannesburg, Professor Njawulu Ndebele, we were objects of the first, second, and the third industrial revolution, not subjects. We should therefore become subjects rather than objects of the fourth industrial revolution. If we ignore the fourth industrial revolution, we shall become economic slaves and technological colonies. It is imperative that we become equal participants in the fourth industrial revolution. The colonization of our continent by the Europeans was because we were objects of the first and the second industrial revolutions. We can never be the, we can never be the African rejuvenation agents unless we are active agents of the fourth industrial revolution.